Hi, Freddie. How you doing? How you doing, sir? Hello there. Right. The lockdown has presented schools with steep learning curves all round. It's been a weird time. Um, Here, they've managed to offer face-to-face -face sessions between teachers, pupils and parents. But come September, the government wants everyone back in class. Well, I'm a bit scared about it because I'm like a type 1 diabetic, so it could affect me if I got uh, the coronavirus. I think it'd be good for Millie to come back to school, back into routine. I think she's in safe hands. I think they'll, you know, it'll all work. But here's a problem to test the most agile mind. How to keep year groups of 200 pupils plus apart from each other. Well, as you can see, I've got four buildings and I've got to accommodate seven year groups. And as any mathematician knows, sevens into four doesn't work. Education recovery is critical for this generation of school children. So across England, head teachers sat down to take careful note of Gavin Williamson's plan. School will be compulsory. Parents who keep their children away could be fined. So-called bubbles of year groups could start, finish and take breaks at staggered times. Schools will be given testing kits for anyone who develops symptoms. And two confirmed cases could lead to the entire year being sent home to self-isolate. What are your chances, do you think, of having this school fully up and running in September? Um, evens. I, I, I'm always an optimist. I always try and think there's got to be a way of doing it. But I remain confused now about how I'm going to isolate bubbles, year group bubbles, in, in a school like mine. After what's happened in Leicester, are you telling parents that there is absolutely no additional risk sending their children back into groups of maybe 250 pupils? The safety of those children uh, going into school and those who work in school is absolutely our top priority. But we mustn't, mustn't, mustn't at any stage uh, forget about the value that schools bring to every child. So we write down? Three. Three. Well done. Hassan has been homeschooling his daughter Zainab since March. She lost her great-grandmother to the virus and that makes her father fearful. If my daughter, God forbid, or someone else gets a virus and they spread it to public and that school gets closed, who is going to take the responsibility? Will the government take the responsibility for losing our one of the family members' life? I've been really impressed with it. In the end, it's the confidence of parents that matters most and that has less to do with school rules from the course of COVID come the autumn. John Ray, ITV News.